Ellen, hmm? can we talk about cars? Hmm. Yeah, that's the noise they make. Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Well, look, let me let me get ahead of this by saying this is all Mike's fault. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as you know, I've spent quite a lot of this year getting reasonably into the F122 video game. Mm -hmm. Mike gave me one of his uh, racing wheels. A yeah. Pretty bloody good one. And I was like, wow, Mike, do you want this back? And he's like, I am awash with them. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I sit on a throne of studded with Thrustmasters and Fanatecs. <laughs> It means nothing to me. I didn't even <laughs> notice it was gone. And I was like, thank you for my nice wheel. Master is king of driving Mike. So the crumbs from Mike's table, to me, are very delicious. And he, so he's given me this, he's given me this really, really good racing, Thrustmaster racing mm -hmm. wheel. Uh, yeah, and so I've just really enjoyed, uh, you know, playing F122, gradually turning, like, the assists off to make it more and more realistic. And, mm. and therefore, you know, m much more difficult to drive. But, you know, you're getting into that. I was telling Mike about it. In fact, we were looking at the track layout for the uh, Brazilian Grand Prix and I was pointing to a particularly hairy couple of corners in Sector 2 where I was saying that actually I've, I've personally found that it's advantageous. If you can get up to fifth, it's actually a lot easier to get around this corner if you come at it really quickly. And Mike looked at me and he said, if you want to get really crazy, <laughs> let me tell you about I racing. There will be a vanishingly small percentage of viewers who already know about I racing mm -hmm. on this. So, you know, apologies this to those. This will be a really popular game. episode. <laughs> Look, Everyone's gonna watch we are, this one. We are going to spray Mike with aerosols later. Yeah, it'll be it'll get fun. To make up for this. It will get it fun. It will We're get gonna fun. We're going to torture Mike. But first, you must eat your vegetables and mm -hmm. hear me talking about my current passion, yeah. which is I Or you could like skip forward because it's a YouTube video, but please don't do that. We need please the watch don't. minutes. <laughs> please, please don't because I need to vindicate the hours that I've sunk into, into the iRacing game. Okay, so it's a subscription service. It looks like a video game. It has the visual trappings of a game in that there is a virtual environment that you manipulate mm -hmm. using controls. Right. But that's about as far as it goes right. in terms of being a game. Right. You pay a monthly fee. For this fee, you get access to the iRacing simulation environment Yeah. in which iRacing hosts through the day, on the hour, a number of races in this highly, highly realistic sim environment. You know that also for a monthly subscription fee, you could get Disney Plus. <laughs> the thing is, Ellen, I'm paying for that as well. Oh God. <laughs> They're bleeding me dry. <laughs> yeah. And through the day, they do like a number of, uh, of races. Uh -huh. So you can't just hop on and do a race whenever you want. No, you show up at the appointed time uh -huh. and you participate in a race against other people. Here, the, like the idea of assists or a helpful line on the road that shows you where you should be braking and where the track's gonna go or a mini map that shows you like what turns are coming. No, mm -hmm. no, these things, no. You may not have these things here um, because the, the, the goal is accuracy, accuracy, accuracy. When you do a race, first, there's three minutes of practice, then there's eight minutes of qualifying, during which you can set two laps, and your fastest tap lap will be used to set your pos position on the grid. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there is a race. Now, I was talking to Eurogamer's Martin Robinson, mm -hmm. who is uh, a huge motorsports fan, like Mike, about this. And he described iRacing very neatly. He said, most video games with cars, the idea is like, drive it like you stole it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah GTA, yeah, yeah. Forza. Fun, you know. Fun, <laughs> have fun. With iRacing, it's like, drive it like you rented it and the excess on the insurance is sky high. So there are lots of different leagues with uh, all different kinds of cars. Um, however, <laughs> however, off, off camera, and John just went, and yeah. that's how I feel. <laughs> when you so when you started off, you have a rookie license, okay? Right. A rookie license, and that means that basically there are only a few like beginner leagues that you can compete in. Mm -hmm. The two that I've been focusing on are one where I drive a vehicle that is called the Mazda MX-5. <laughs> Mm 
John says it's a great car. Although recently I have learned an enormous amount about racing and motorsports, I still basically don't know anything about cars and I'm mm -hmm. not that interested in learning, weirdly. So like, what's the Mazda MX-5? Not really sure, don't know. But I do know how it feels to drive floaty. And another uh, league, uh, called Formula V, mm. which is like a child's drawing of a Formula One car. Aww. It's about, they're about like this big and it's like, <laughs> like, a, like a little go-kart. They go really quickly. Yeah. So they look like this, Ellen. What do you think of? Oh, it's so cute. Here's what I find is very gripping about eye racing. Not just the tires. Not just the tires. It's two things. One, um, it is tickling the part of my brain that really enjoys uh, an almost sarcastic challenge, you know? Like it's that kind dark, of- It's Dark Souls, but it's cars. A dark, it is Dark Souls, but cars. Because it's like, you do a lap, you spin every corner, mm -hmm. and you think, there is no way this can be done. Mm. And you look at the lap times of everyone else, and you're like, they are like five seconds faster than me. There is, there is, there, I don't see how I could be going faster. Mm -hmm. I'm going very fast in my fast car, I yeah. don't see how I could be expected to go faster. And then, lo and behold, with enough patience and perseverance and doing that thing where you want to rage quit, but you're like, mm, mm, suppress emotions, replay game. <laughs> you do eventually start to pick up seconds and things start to kind of click into place and suddenly you can like get a, a few clean laps in and, and you realize like oh I haven't spun out or or had like an incident yeah. in, in ages so uh, it, it is astonishingly difficult and um, punishing to begin with but I am finding the difficulty part of the appeal if I'm honest the other thing is progressing out of the rookie league I don't have to win races or do well at all. No. The way you progress out of the rookie leagues is by being a safe driver. Oh. So you have on your license a safety rating, uh -huh. uh, which starts at 2.50. Yeah. And every time you do a race, uh, it goes up or down based on how safe you were uh, over the course of that race. And this, right. is, this is calculated by the number of incidents that you had how bad those incidents were, and how many corners you did total. Coming off the track is a minor infraction. You normally get like one demerit for that. If you touch another car, it's pretty bad. If you, under any circumstance, doesn't matter if it's your fault, if another car, like one could just like scream into the back of you and it's like bonk like that, four demerits, you're probably not going to win the race now and like your safety rating is, is likely In to... In the toilet. Yeah. So what this means is that races, it's not a kind of like elbows out, rah, rah, battle going to, you know, get ahead. It's like a kind of like... <laughs> mirrors, what mirrors, mirrors, what mirrors, 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 mirrors,
and I like it. Like, yeah, well, yeah, it's yeah. Like, it's like uh, playing like Paragon in Mass Effect. <laughs> it is like that. I watch YouTube videos of like people like, here's how to do a fast lap in this car on this track, right. and I'm like, okay, yeah, all right. So like, down into the, you know, okay, yeah, all right. That doesn't need to break. That can just be a lift around this, and all that kind of stuff. And it's like, oh, here's your breaking point where this billboard ends. That's when you. That's when you want to be like, Bleh. the tra slight discoloration on the track here. That's that's how you know that it's time to be like, do down, 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 and then first the corner and stuff. And I could do all these tracks like in my sleep. Yeah. But that's like for getting a clean lap. As soon yeah. as you have to do it in a race, with suddenly, other people, yeah. Suddenly your racing lines are all over the place. Because you've got to get away from everyone else. Yeah, and you're like, you're side by side with someone. And you're like, I don't know how to do this corner. With you there. With you, your. Please go away. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's about like training that out of you. That's all I will say about iRacing. Now, mm. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I pre it the, the graphics are poor compared <laughs> to many, many games. Yeah. But I think a little bit like Breath of the Wild or something. Breath of the Wild comparison is nonsense, Luke. What are you yeah. doing? <laughs> what I mean is that with limited hardware and limited resources, they They've make done something. A good yeah. Job. I think it. I think iRacing looks very, very pretty in motion. In motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Screenshots. Yeah. No, 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 no. Photo mode. No, 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 no. But like in motion, I'm like, oh yeah, actually everything's moving very fluidly. Like frame rate's really good. Well, that's the important thing with a, a yeah, game yeah, like yeah. that. Is yeah. I, you know, usually I don't care about frame rate too much. Um, but yeah, you, in need, those you need it for this. You yeah. need it to be. Mm. Ooh, you need lovely, it to feel you know. pleasing and smooth. And also, yes. just like with a with a nice force feedback wheel, it just, it actually just feels good to do. Mm. It feels very satisfying to feel the grip kind of bite as you come around the corner. And stuff. So, anyway, that's all. I'm sorry that took so long. I went as fast as I could because <laughs> <laughs> you've had your vegetables. Now you've had your vegetables. Dessert. So look, here's the thing. Now my Instagram algorithm is ruined because I like some Formula One stuff. So now I get ads for all sorts of stupid BS. Yeah. And one of the one just of, because he likes to watch Piers, your pig, what's Pierre it? Gasly. Pierre Gasly. That's just because I want. Oh man, I got so I got served a video today of Pierre Gasly and his soon to be ex teammate Yuki Sonoda, and they oh, like they had like so sweet. yeah they had like scarves and they were like tying each other up in scarves, like trying to do this thing where they were like trying to unwind and they're like. Oh man, it's so good. But now my Instagram is like all the ads are like official F1 fragrances. So I got served an ad and I was like, I was like, okay, I have to look at this. So I clicked through. They cost 60 pounds a bottle and and are ridiculous. Yeah. And expensive. Yeah. And have absolutely wild descriptions. Amazing. And then I spotted that for only one pound, <gasps> you could buy a little sampler kit of all of them. So of course I did that. It's been behind me the whole time. Here it is. A uh, little sneak peek. The F1 fragrances <laughs> race collection. Uh, do, can you? Can you? Can we get a zoom on this, John? Look at that. Let me just open it up, and you can see. There it is. Little test. Little tester bottles. Beautiful. Of all the F1 fragrances. <laughs> uh, and. And Mike, who claims to know a lot about motorsports, uh, we're going to put his knowledge to the test by spraying him with all of these and seeing how well he can assess the different yeah. smelling notes mm -hmm. of all of them. Mike! Okay, Alan, right, what's, the, so what's the first one? Number one we're going for is Why Precious do they Metal. Why bowling skittles? What's that I don't know. They're supposed to look like a Formula One car from the top. They put the stripe on, that, that is literally a bowling skittle. I know that like Formula One cars don't have gear sticks, it's all done on yes. the steering wheel. Good but surely, surely they could cheat a little bit and put a little gear stick. Like, imagine a little Ooh, fragrance yeah. bottle in the shape of a gear stick. It's yeah. perfect. That'd be pretty good, yeah. actually, yeah. So, so. Uh, spray it on Mike into okay. his eyes. That's the fastest way to absorb, <laughs> absorb the fragrance. Absorb the fragrance. Oh, the, smell oh, the thing is, Where do you usually, want... usually you like kind of spray it on there. Yeah, you you yeah, spray yeah. it on your wrist first, and Why? then if you do want to, it, because don't spray it directly onto your neck, that's when you're more likely to accidentally put too much. So you spray a little bit of fragrance, you put a little bit there, and then you dab, 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 dab. You know how flies clean their heads? Oh. Like, a, like yeah. a rabbit. There we go. <laughs> Give, smells, it, give us a sniff. It smells like, it just smells like Lynx Africa. <laughs> Is that, what they've done? You spent 150 oh my quid God. on a bottle of Lynx Africa. <laughs> that smells like I Lynx Africa. I smell it. Does. That is, you get that in a gift box with, F1. A, with a shower gel Come on, on John, John, yeah. John, John. Lynx, I'm not joking. You want to investigate yeah. this because I think, <laughs> I, th I think you want to check that a barrel hasn't gone missing from the factory. <laughs> For our US viewers, Axe, right? Axe. Axe body spray, Axe body yes. Spray. Um, yes. Okay, okay. Mike, but how would you describe what, the... What flavours? Yes, yeah, what flavours? Like an image of some sort of wildcat. 
large continents. <laughs> summery, you know, like fresh air, nature, sort of. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Not I bad. Think not a million miles not off. Do you, do you want to read off. the official description from, okay. the, from the website? Well, burst of citrus freshness okay, citrus. and woods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. it's a fresh, fruity, yeah. sort of naturey. Uh, Luke, would you like to go into the further description of it? Oh, yeah. So this is all taken from the F1 website. Yeah. Classic notes of leather, lavender, and patchouli combined with airy mandarin and metallic pink pepper. Airy. Yes. A thrilling citrus woody with a... <laughs> now hang on, I've copied. <laughs> now I've copy pasted this directly. I'm now on the website. A thrilling citrus woody with a brilliance that evokes the adrenaline rush of the race. I was going to suggest that Links Africa could steal the copy, but they haven't even written it properly. So you know what? I think you you mentioned the outdoors. Yeah. So I think you were you were pretty on I'm, the money there. Right, nice. Ellen, pass me the samples. I want to spray Mike with. <laughs> My palette. I want to spray Mike with the next scent, which is called Turn One. Ooh. Okay, that's enough. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Does it smell in any way different? That's the main. Yeah, thing. it does. It's definitely oh. less. It's less like natural. It's more sort of synthetic. Evoking the tension of tires on wet tarmac. Mm. The saltiness of rain. Is okay. rain salty? Isn't the whole point is of rain, rain is that it's fresh water? <laughs> Isn't that the... Should the, the rain shouldn't please, be salty. Please, please go learn the water cycle, F1. The saltiness of rain and electrifying energy of intense turns. The ozone, ozonic spice of Angelica mixed with vibrant, vibrant wounds. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so if you know Angelica. We the ozonic spice from Angelica. Uh, mixed with She's vibrant... Same again. Vibrant woods. <laughs> Just like, it's fine, words. I've got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> a woody aromatic scent that symbolises the car on the track. I think you did a good job there because you said it was like more synthetic and artificial. Yeah. Yeah. And this does sound like it's less about the outdoors and citrusy notes and more about the... the, the Burning rubber. The mm. tension of tyres on wet tarmac. Mm -hmm. Ellen, would you like to uh, douse Mike liberally with our next <laughs> scent? Yes. Overtake 320. It sounds like an overtake where you, you're crashing and are rotating, but not quite the full three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A full I'm sure three, they'd be like yeah. KPH, 320 KPH, which is probably 200 miles an hour. Right, okay, right. Sure. Okay, where where would you like me to spray you on your nose? Just probably. There? Right up my nose. There I'll we put go. Some, put some welly into it. <laughs> oh. No, I think that was the last one. That was the rubbery one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Give us a oh, sniff. It's very sweet. Let's have a sniff of your arm. Oh wow, that's Christmassy to me. Yeah. Ellen, what mm -hmm. do you think of that? Let's that have one? a let's have a sniff of your elbow. It's like spiced, mm. isn't it? It's like a spiced sweet mm. kind of getting like a uh ho. Oh, would you say like, would you say it's cranberry-ish sort of mm. would, would you say it's an, sort of thing? An intense red yes. heat and energy captured with spicy amber. We heard yeah. spicy. Spicy. The moment smoking tires spin as the car speeds up and the immense power of the engines, fiery cinnamon and pink yeah. pepper melt into a warm blend of tonka like bean, vanilla and guyac wood, a spicy amber that accelerates at lightning speed. That was basically it, it what It smells said. like a Yankee candle, like a Christmas <laughs> candle. <Yeah. laughs> That's what it says on the website. Hey, smell that again. <laughs> yeah. Christmas Yankee candle. You know what, honestly, if I unwrap that, on the morning yeah. of the 25th, I'd be like, Lovely, like that great, one up. Solid, brilliant. Solid Christmas choice. Yes, please. This house is going to smell lovely, yeah. Yes, right. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this next one, Ellen, so I think maybe <laughs> you should. I think maybe. I think, you... I think it's genuinely supposed to be Neom White. <laughs> Neom White. Neom. It's N E E E U M. I thought maybe that was like a kind of special compound, some kind of special no, carbon fibre used think in driving, it's Mike? More there's no word there's no word naturally occurring in the English language that, that has, has three, three E's in it. Neum. <laughs> so is it really called yeah, I think it is. White. Right, hang on, let me just let me just search for Neum. <laughs> N E E U M. At three seconds long, Neum is the new global sonic identity for F1. <laughs> what? 
do you, you mean? mean? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm on the website now for I think a marketing agency. To mark the start of Formula One's new season, we teamed the sports brand up with Grammy Award winning duo The Chemical Brothers for a, un for a unique collaboration. F1 tasked The Chemical Brothers to transform a brand new track into the iconic sound of an F1 car roaring past at high speed. We've Got to Try from the forthcoming new album No Geography was broken down, re-engineered and accelerated to 100 to 15,000 BPM. <laughs> Okay. So, so what they did was and they played a, the entire three minute song in like three seconds or something. At three seconds long, Neum <laughs> is the new global sonic identity for F1 and we've got to try is the sound of the F1 2019 We've got to hear it. We've got to okay. hear it. There's no, but the thing is, it's only three seconds long. There's no way they won't copyright claim this if I know Formula One. So you'll have to look it up for yourselves. Okay. But here we go. <laughs> Well, that, we all feel that, that. well, that was that. Um, Changed I, forever. I, think the, I thought so. The Chemical Brothers. <laughs> the Chemical Brothers feel like they have a new conservatory. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what Neum is. It's not just the sound. So it's not just a load of made-up bull. <laughs> if you were wondering. But it, no. <laughs> hold it. Hold it like level, and then. It, oh no, I've, no! It's it's just that it it's I've not been used it. before. I spent longer trying to dispense it than the Chemical Brothers did. <laughs> Another successful half morning in the studio for the chemical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there oh, we hey. go. Look, so, some got on there. A, a good spray. Can you can you give that? A sniff? <laughs> that three seconds smell. <laughs> yeah. I think you described this as like icy and arctic and that sort of thing, right? Like that's the sort of like. Okay, that's the space it's working in. Mm -hmm. I think anyway. Let's see the official okay, notes. Okay, well, new white. <laughs> is as daring as racing down the home straight. Mm. Crisp. That's the least daring bit of racing, sorry, carry on. <laughs> Crisp and streamlined, an audacious note of Narcissus, subtly twisted by the slick powder of iris, aromatic juniper and black pepper with the richness of leather. A fug fugere? Fu fugere, I fugere think. Fugere floral that celebrates the uncompromising thrill of this technical sport. Are you experiencing the uncompromising thrill in smell form? No. <laughs> okay. Well then, I... it smells like soap, really. <laughs> it does actually, yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like imperial leather, we're talking here. Imagine if on the website, the only just... leather going on that here is, is imperial, imperial leather. leather. Yeah. Imperial leather. The last one is carbon rain. Mm -hmm. uh, carbon rain. I don't mind telling you, they say on the website is the best seller. Mm. So. And it's spelled rain as in like a king's rain or a queen's yes. rain. Yes. Uh, rather than the like, rain yeah. of carbon. Uh. Where where would you like me to spray you? Well, we're out of arms. So just destroy. <laughs> mm. How about the back of the hand? Back. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I go up that end. There we go. Right in the knuckles. I feel like you're having that ratatouille moment. Where you're like, <laughs> I'm there. Oh, oh, uh, I'm getting bubble gum. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Yeah. That is someone on the train wearing too much aftershave. Yeah. Okay, well, Mike, uh, yeah. your description was... Your... <laughs> Sorry, Andy just walked past and looked in at <laughs> me smelling Mike's hand, being like, mm, hell? Annoying. <laughs> Andy, do you, do you want, want to, to smell quick, Mike's have, hand? Have a quick sniff of Mike's hand. Have a toot on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's that's Christmas morning fragrance set from an unlikely uncle. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, well that's not what they put on the website. They <laughs> describe it. They describe it as a vibrant, luminous scent full of energetic, aromatic woods. Capturing the prismatic lights at the podium. Mm. Carbon Rain is a fragrance that celebrates the joy of the win. Energetic notes of pink and timut pepper convey triumph in a shower of sparks, with thrilling notes of gera thrilling notes <laughs> of <laughs> geranium, <laughs> lavender, <laughs> and amber crystals. Oh my god! Geranium! <laughs> Pinned to my chair by this geranium smell. Amber crystals! We I mean, like just crushed rocks and put this in there. Okay. An aromatic woody fragrance charged, charged with, with energy. <laughs> the incredible G force I'm what? pulling from this lavender. So Mike, um yes. <laughs> I believe you have a big meeting later with me. <laughs> in different smells, yeah. Do you think you do you think it will be a power play when you walk in smelling of five different <laughs> F1 fragrances? Well, it's more of a power play than one F1 fragrance. Well, let's yeah. Five or <laughs> Hopefully Mike gets the boardroom outcome he's hoping for. <laughs> but 
Mike, uh, if you could choose just one of these scents to wear for the rest of your life and smell like that forever permanently, which one would you choose? I think I would choose uh, the one that's called Neum. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike, thank you so much for um, I mean, thank you, I think. coming and being sprayed. I think mm -hmm. it was a fitting punishment for um, what you making what you've, what, turning what you've Luke done. into what he is now. <laughs> turning Luke into an exceptionally boring person. <laughs> But uh, to change gear, let, let's remind all the folks at home. Let's go do another one. Um, that uh, in order to clutch that opportunity at more content, yes. you can subscribe. Can she make it three? And uh, if you would like to uh, set those uh, wipers going, okay, um, yeah, fine. look around on this screen for other videos that you can watch. Um, and also uh, make sure that when you're watching these videos that your uh, chair is in the right position because that's actually one of the most important things uh, so that your feet can actually reach pedals. For me, that's very important because I'm short. So. Yeah, do make sure your feet reach the pedals when yes. driving. <laughs> <laughs> Strap in for oh, more videos good. on Outside Fine, Extra. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We've just been told my mic's died, but we're so close to the finish line. The finish line. Let's wave that checkered flag and watch m more videos on Outside Extra and Outside Xbox. Uh, let's get on that podium. I'm so proud of you both.